Vegetables, vegetables. I have all the vegetables. Carrot, beetroot, potato, beetroot, onion, potato. I have all vegetables, fresh vegetables. I have all the fresh vegetables. Thank you. When we say health, if someone says you have no ailment, it does not mean you're healthy. When you wake up in the morning, are you feeling alive and bouncy or not? The word health comes from the word whole. You must have a certain sense of wholeness of body, mind, energy and the fundamental nature of your existence. If all these things are in alignment, now when you wake up in the morning, you feel like you're just born. If this happens to you, that means you're healthy. One simple thing all you girls can do is just bring forty to fifty percent of the food in its raw form, that means it's alive. It must be a live cell, it can be a vegetable, it can be a fruit, it can be a nut, it can be sprouted gram. At least forty to fifty percent, the food that you eat must be alive. You eat dead food and you want to live, this is a little difficult thing to do because you have to raise the dead now. When you cook the food, to digest the food, all the ingredients necessary for digestion are not in the body alone. The food also brings these enzymes. When you cook the food, you are largely destroying these enzymes. Minus the enzymes when you eat, now the body has to struggle to reconstruct that part that has been destroyed and then only it can digest. Normally first one, one and a half hours after eating, it tends to take the body down. After that slowly, it recovers. Have you noticed this? So food is for energy, but we are making the food in such a way that uh, it takes away energy in the first one and a half hours, 
Only after that, slowly it comes back. Anyway, however good your digestive process is, still you can never reconstitu reconstitute all the enzymes that we have destroyed by cooking. Only partly we can do that. If your digestive process is very strong and good, you reconstitute about forty to fifty percent of what's been destroyed. If it is a little timid kind of digestion, it's much less. So whichever way, if you're eating cooked food, fifty to sixty percent of the food that you're eating is generally going waste, but the body has to still process that. And the amount of energy that it spends and the amount of trauma that it goes through is very big. Food means many things to many people, but essentially for the body, it's the fuel. If you put the right kind of fuel, this will be on in a certain way. If you put the wrong kind of fuel, somehow it will manage. I'm t not telling you eat this way, eat that way. Just experiment and see, all right? Just experiment and see. Tonight if you go, Instead of eating whatever cooked food, just eat fruits and see, tomorrow morning you will not need an alarm bell, you will wake up before the alarm bell. And you will see all these eyes will not be sticking like this, like that, you wake up instantly, you are bright and alert. People do not know what it means to be at absolute ease within their body. Ninety-five percent of the people do not know this, unfortunately. Because you put the wrong kind of fuel, you can keep this body like breeze, simply it goes ahead of you, you don't have to drag it wherever you go, it must float ahead of you. You can do this just putting the right kind of fuel. Importance of Vitamins and Minerals Human body needs food for energy and for building and repairing tissues. We need a balanced diet that supplies us various nutrients such as proteins, carbohydrates and fats. In addition, the body also needs other nutrients in very small quantities for functioning properly. These are known as vitamins and minerals. Vitamins are a group of organic substances that are essential for normal cell functions, growth and development. The skin can make and absorb vitamin D from sunlight and the intestines can make some vitamin K. But for all the other vitamins, we depend on the food we eat. We need vitamins for three important reasons. 1. Vitamins help the body to function properly. 2. Vitamins help the body to fight diseases. 3. Vitamins combine with proteins and fats and help break them down. Vitamins are of two kinds. One, water soluble, such as the B group and C. They're destroyed by boiling. Two, fat soluble, such as A, D, E, and K. Lack of vitamins causes night blindness, dryness of eyes, numbness of hands and feet, cracked lips, anemia. Like vitamins, minerals are also found in eggs and fish liver oil, fresh fruits, green vegetables and nuts. A large number of minerals are present in our body and they help us to perform different functions. Calcium, potassium, iodine, iron, chlorine and sodium are important minerals in our body. They make up 4% of the body weight. Lack of minerals causes dehydration, general weakness weak muscles and nerves, loss of weight, rickets in children. A good posture helps to keep our body fit and in proper shape. We must always sit, stand and walk straight. A bad posture can hurt our muscles. We should also breathe fresh air, eat healthy food and exercise regularly to be fit and healthy.